Welcome! Episode 2, just for fun, Borderlands 2. We're continuing on where we left off almost. You see, due to a bit of a technical hiccup, we lost a quest. A quest to kill Bullymongs. And uh, a little bit of a story involving Helena Pierce, which I'm kind of sad about, because uh, it was a very uh, good way of getting across the idea that uh, Handsome Jack really is an asshole. But for now, you'll just have to take my word for it, unfortunately. Um, but we got an assault rifle. It's uh, not a very good assault rifle. It tends to chew through ammunition without really hurting anyone. Um, but we're ready to move on to the next area. We're pretty close to getting a sniper rifle, which, which is always cool. So we're going to do that. We're going to focus on getting the sniper rifle, and then we're going to uh, kill a bunch of bandits, I think. So hang on to your hats. What do we got here? We got a shield, a uh, skin customization that we already have, um, midgets and bullymongs and vault hunters, oh my. That's not very nice. I don't think I deserve that. But midgets riding around on bully mongs is kind of, you know, you gotta at least see it once before you die. So we'll go do that, but we have this quest um, to, oh, we gotta finish this. Redeem token. We have a badass token and we will use it to get shield recharge rate. Because we can. Um, yeah, we have to get Bullymong fur, which, in order to get it, we have to uh, kill a Bullymong with a melee attack. And we don't have to do all melee to kill it, but the finishing blow has to be from a melee attack, which is kind of a pain in the ass, because Bullymongs will clobber you at melee range. But for a sniper rifle, I'll do it. So we're just going to run up here and make sure I didn't miss any loot. There were some bandits up here. Uh, clearly not anymore. Uh, we got some loot containers. And money. Check for more loot containers. I don't think so. Alright, so we're, we're squared away, I think. Actually, I wonder what we'll find over here. Let's go take a little bit of an adventure. Because for some reason, I don't remember being sent over here for anything. Or maybe... Maybe I did. Oh no, birds. We're under attack. That, uh... Whirring noise, if you look at the barrel of my gun, is, uh... Yeah, that's where that's coming from. These things... Yeah. The racks never attack in groups of three. It's always like half a dozen or more. Fortunately, they die easy. And if you have a good shotgun, this is where it really excels. You can take out all kinds of these guys in very short order. In the first game, the racks dropped much better loot than these guys too. So it's kind of a, a sad face scenario to see them dropping next to nothing here. But it's cool. It's cool, they're all dead now, they're all gone. And I, I'm not gonna run, I was gonna go check out over there, but I can't remember if it's Flint over there or in the southern shelf. And I don't wanna run all the way over there and find out, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, no, we didn't wanna come over here. So we're just gonna go where I know the bully mongs to be, get us a sniper rifle. See, these were guys that I already killed, trying to get the quest items for the sniper rifle, but I kept crit critting them in the face and killing them faster than I intended, and then obviously I can't finish them with melee attacks when I killed them with a bullet to the face, so just have to be a little bit more careful. That's a pretty badass looking gun. The one that I have is pretty badass looking, but that's not to say it's a good gun. I do remember this from my uh, other experiments, this area here, and this is a good area to get your ass beat 
There's an adult bully mong. There are badass bully mongs occasionally that show up around here. And they will just flat out spank you. So the, uh... Thoroughly awful, nearly impossible to control assault rifle. And this! This pistol! That I got... Oh, I did it again. I killed him in the face. The badass pistol with the massive magazine and the reflex sight. I shouldn't be trying to melee these guys so soon, but this one. There's one. Oh boy. This is this is where it starts to go sideways. See, this revolver is shooting pretty much as fast as my assault rifle and doing twice the damage almost. I would really like for that guy to stop chucking stuff at me. Did I kill him? No. Okay, he's just taking a nap, I guess. He's sitting in the back with hardly any health. Same with this guy now. We're gonna get in there. Alright, so there's... Wait! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So okay, there's one. Wants to give you a sniper rifle. I laugh at his offer. Ha! If you bring me the fur, I'll give you a badass shotgun I found in the hands of a dead... Wonderful, you've gotten all the fur I need. Bring it to ah. me and my sniper rifle shall be yours. Screw that noise! Bring me the fur and I'll give you a shotgun. Now, I want the sniper rifle. We've already done the, the shotgun route. And it wasn't all that impressive. So I'm going to run back to Liarsburg. And uh, I'll meet you back here with the sniper rifle. Alright, we are back. We are back pretty much exactly where we were when we left. And we did get our sniper rifle. The, uh... Kualai Kualai Muckamuck. It's the name of this sniper rifle. Uh, good damage relative to everything else. Good accuracy. Fire rate is for a sniper rifle is fantastic. The reload speed is absolute shit. So we're going to do what we can with this thing. Uh, I know the area that we're heading into is pretty heavily populated with bandits. So we're going to move up. And we're going to cause as much grief as we can. Now the one thing is we can't equip the sniper rifle until level 5, but fortunately we are extremely close to level 5. So between that and the special ability that we get at level 5, things could start to get a little bit more interesting pretty much right away. I'm just hoping none of these birds come down and say hello because, uh... Well, they're coming down. You jerk faces, you just stay away from me. I don't mind fighting them. You'd have to be playing on a really, really hard difficulty or just near dead or away from the keyboard in order for these guys to actually have a chance of killing you. But they are kind of a pain in the ass. So this is like Banditville. Fortunately, we've got a pistol with reflex sights. That is awesome. Now, I'm, I'm hoping to get at least the first shot off on one of these buggers. But I don't want to sit here all day waiting for one of them to peek around the corner, so... Oh, there's one. Look at the... I'm not moving the mouse at all, and look at the bob on that. Bastards. That is ludicrous. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, here comes a grenade. I say this is a fairly decent spot up here. Kinda. We'll pretend like it is. Or 
sniper. Almost to level five. Once again, using a pistol for a sniper rifle. Oh, that midget just ate it in the face. I, I almost want to apologize to him. But I'm not sorry in the least. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. So here we go. We're going to swap this guy for that guy. And oh, we also have to... Uh, best minion ever. Okay, that's fine. Where, where, where? Skills. There we go. We've got our action skill. Let's see what kind of... That's not bad. Once everything starts to get going and there's all kinds of bad guys, that's when... The, the real test of the rifle comes into play with that four second reload speed. I kind of think I'm going to be using a, a pistol a lot of the time. Oh, look at this guy, the badass marauder. It would have to be a badass. The first guy out of the door is a badass. <laughs> ah, yes, and he gets up from that. There we go. That's a dead badass. I hear the midget freaking out in the background. Just kind of reload when we've still got ammunition in the weapon. As opposed to waiting until we run out. Oh, I see a psycho. He's kind of doing the approach thing. They're chucking their axes at me. How did that miss? There we go. Did you hear that midget scream? That is just not appropriate from a midget to scream like that. I used to date a girl who hated kids, and she would use that scream as justification to continue her hatred. Okay, that's just a save robot going off. Oh, look at this. They're all just kind of crouched over like zombies. chucking their axes at me. Is that yeah, that's the psycho midget. He's the one who was doing all the hollering. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I should it's mean. It's horribly mean to find that funny, but uh, I do. And that's just the way it is. It looks like a shotgun. It's actually much better than the first shotgun that I picked up. Now, one of the interesting things that I found out is that the water in this game, particularly in this area, is actually not safe to walk in. You might as well be walking in lava. So, uh, I kind of feel like I should still be watching for guys. Um, I, I know that there are more guys that I'll have to kill before things kind of get down to the boss. And there are even guys out there that I'll probably swing around and kill just for the loot. But it's kind of hard to gauge when the uh, the waves of bad guys are done and you have a little break to run around for a bit. So we've got the outhouse of loot right here. Eee. 
Kind of makes you not want anything that was in here. The twin repeater, the bandit brand greasy pistol, the bulk biggin. Okay. Uh, we got another pistol there. There's a vending machine around here somewhere, so we don't have to worry too much about filling up. Oh, the midget first. He's gonna skin me, put my face on, and show it to my mother. See, now that was a loud ass grenade. Oh, hey. Oh, grenade! I didn't even see that one come in. Oh, there he is. Oh, the sniper rifle from five feet away. That's a story he can tell his grandkids. Oh, wait, he can't. Oh, grenade. I just saw that coming in at the last second. I don't even know what that midget is saying, uh, but I do know enough to be horrified. Oh, another grenade. At least they're not getting too close. A lot of times if you catch a grenade right beside you... Oh my god. You catch a grenade that goes off right beside you, it's enough to flatten you pretty good. What he lacks in size, he makes up for in trash talk. Holy shit. I don't know if that's our target up there or not. I don't think it is. So we're just going to quickly top up our ammunition supplies here. Best we can. No, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. There we go. Uh, I think that's... The best we're gonna get for right now. Let's throw down. Oh, I hit the rail. I love the midgets. I love them and I hate them all at the same time in the best possible way. Uh, there's a guy up there, it would appear. So we're gonna try and get up there and uh, get a clean shot at him. Oh crap. Oh, that's this, this same thing again, scaring the crap out of him. Uh, full on that kind go and there he is I saw the red dot on my mini map oh I gave away my position and hit the stupid metal support ah <sighs> sometimes I don't know how I get past the first level on any of these games oh wait what was that I think I saw fire um, we'll just scroll down here. This one, the inflammatory animosity. How many... Consumes two ammo per shot, and it's only got a six ammo, six round capacity. So basically, you can fire three times, and, uh... That's it. You're stuck. You're having to reload. So, as much as I like setting guys on fire, it's actually a pretty deadly way to go. Uh, no, we're not going to do that right now. So the guy that we need to kill 
is, I believe. Yeah, he's up here somewhere. And I think we should actually be seeing him any second now. So, we'll just start in on his friends. 